Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your general readings for the sun, moon and the rising sign of cancer. Cancer, please keep in mind that this is a general reading so whatever resonates with you as always please pick it up, rest, leave it for others and I also wanted to make a very very quick announcement. I'm so thankful for all the people who are connecting with me for private reading and private healing processes on my email ID which is mentioned below in the description box. Whenever you are contacting me for a private reading, please ensure you are mentioning your complete name. Your date of birth is very very important in a private reading because from your date of birth and from your birth time if you remember, I analyze a lot of things for your general life, for your future, for your life path goals and visions and why the blockages are there what are the challenges and what are the relevant situations according to it. So whenever you're contacting me, please mention your full name along with date of birth and time if you remember. And also the country and your time zone is utmost important for me in order to fix up a mutual meeting time over Zoom or over WhatsApp video call. And it is very helpful so that I can fix up the call accordingly. I'm in different time zone and you people are in different time zone. So it's important for me. And please remember people who are contacting me for private readings and healings as well. A lot of people are taking healings now for money healing, career, finances, love relationship healings, blockage removal healing. Please ensure that whenever you're contacting me for it, it's a paid process. The private reading and the private healing processes are the paid processes. So please connect with me accordingly with this understanding. And let me now move ahead on your reading. Sun, moon and rising cancer. What are the energies for November 2021? Okay, you have happy family. That's nice. And then you have cornucopia congratulations i really love this card in any reading and let me also see what are your angel messages before i move on to your weeklies angel messages for november 2021 what do we need to know cancer people sun moon and rising what do we need to know look at this cards are falling on its own don't stop Take action. The amazing. Okay. So if you see this particular energy card, it says happy family. This means, dear cancer people, you are actually moving forward towards not only a happy family, literally. With this rainbow in your reading, I also sense that it is going to give you internal satisfaction, internal peace. There is some kind of inner wisdom inner happiness coming to your life and with this card I am sensing that you know whatever is meant for you to be peaceful and happy you're going to get that so that's the vibration of happy family for me during this reading in the card apart from the literal meaning of just happy family and this is super amazing super thrilling it says cornucopia which means you are heading towards true, not only the, the abundance of wisdom and maturity and inner peace, but you are also heading towards the, the prosperity, too much of abundance, which is absolutely good. No abundance is bad. Amazing abundance. You know, I'm sensing huge profits, huge promotions, huge securities. And I'm sensing that this particular money is coming to you just the reward of your hard work dear cancer people so definitely take this cornucopia the abundance lying here as a reward to your own hard work i'm sensing it is it though it is also luck whenever we get something good in our life it is definitely luck but in this card what i am getting the energy is definitely definitely the the hard work which is coming to your life and that is why you're sounding very peaceful at your heart i'm i'm getting while i'm doing your reading cancer people i'm i'm sensing a lot of smoothness in your mental physical and emotional being so this is very nice as a reader and a healer and then in your angel answers you have don't stop 
this means that keep on working on the journey whatever you are doing right at the moment you are absolutely on the right path whether you are doing something for your personal life professional life it says keep on working keep on moving ahead and don't stop even if there are delays challenges and obstacle the angels are telling you to don't stop and then you have take action so this is your angel answers and it says that wherever you need look at the night here wherever you need and here also you will have the rainbow colors so when rainbow appears in any any reading it means that the lucky blessings and the divine offering will be not full swing and you are going to get the abundance of offerings that is what i'm sensing apart from the the materialistic gain you are going to get the divine offering divine blessings and it is very much i can sense from this card as well so wherever it is required keep on moving forward on your journey and take the appropriate action wherever it is required now let us see what do we have in your weeklies weeklies for cancer sun moon and rising weeklies for cancer sun moon and rising let me see what is it so in the month of november first week you have the lovers which is a major arcana card in the second week you have new beginnings both the cards are major arcana cards new beginning is the energy of fool another major arcana card then you have eight of gabriel communication is going to be very important in third week and then you have page of gabriel so you know gabriel i am telling to other sign people also gabriel is coming primarily in every reading and gabriel is the angel of communication this means that communication is going to be very very crucial and important for you during this month so this particular month you're starting with lovers lovers is the choices the opportunities make choices from your heart deeply emotional commitment the power of love this means that you know what wherever you want choices in your life this time choices opportunities you're definitely going to get those multiple platform situations circumstances you know you're going to get multiple options if you are in love if you want to fall into love if you're looking for a job if you're looking for business expansion whatever may be the reason it says that lover not only offer choices but it offers opportunities tremendously and it is a major arcana card which is a very nice stuff and let me see what do we have in week 1 for all cancer people in detail let me see what do we have in detail for cancer people sun moon and rising sun moon and rising so you have nine of swords yes there is anxiety there is stress and i can easily sense that this is definitely coming from some heart burns bag and baggages on your mind soul and body allow the past whatever has happened has happened it is important for you that you allow to let it go forgive forget and move forward then only you can definitely welcome these new choices these new opportunities with a welcome heart and then we have again eight of swords so if you feel you are tied up remember one thing in this situation that it is you who has to come out of this situation it is you who has to look for a solution out of this tied up when you try to help yourself only divine helps you then so your own karma your own effort your own action to save yourself from any physical mental emotional burden responsibility only you can take action and only you can free yourself with this tied up situation and then we have three of cups when you allow the past to go when you welcome the present you definitely enjoy in future so three of cups is definitely the enjoying moments the lucky moments the lucky charm celebration time union reunion with your loved ones something in your kitty falling in the first week of november for which you are definitely going to celebrate it could be love moments love unions it could be new job new business it could be promotion reward respect it could be anything but it is definitely going to be a celebration moment and in the second week you have a card of new beginning which says it's a fool the new energy you have to trust your skills and competencies and with that trust you need to move forward in your life and it says starting a new life finding your purpose a forgiving and compassionate review of the past yes 
I've already told you that in case you want to enjoy your future, you have to allow your past to go. And let me see, what do we have in tarot with second week? What do we have in tarot for second week? What do we have in tarot for second week? So we have five of cups. Something with which you were disappointed, you were sad, you were depressed. Something which you felt that, oh, you that was not meant for you. That was not going well with you. You were not able to resonate. But there was huge heart pain, emotional pain. And you feel that, oh, everything is spilled. Remember, you still have opportunities to grow. You still have opportunities to come out. It is just the matter, cancer people, that you need to decide when and how you want to come out. You need to unleash your own potential in coming out of the situation. And then you have seven of pentacles. Wait and watch and rely only on your actions. It is definitely going to support you a lot. And let me see what else do we have for week two. We have the star. A long wish fulfillment, a dream coming true for which you were very, very, very passionate. You were working so hard. Your dream, your wish is coming true to you in second week of November. Amazing reading. Now in the third and fourth week, you have Gabriel coming in. That means communication will be very important from mid-month. It says a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. Yes, communication in your personal and professional life will play a crucial role in the third and fourth week of November. Let us see what do we have in detail for week three. So we have four of wands. You are, you are bringing back the stability of your life. You know where your stability is required you the most where you require the stability the most. You require it in relationships, you get it. You require in job, profession, money, business, home, you will get it. Because you know why? Because you have very strong energy cards. And energy cards play the most important role in the, in the complete reading and you have card of happy family and cornucopia. This means you are going to get internal and external happiness, peace, wisdom, money, materialistic gain. Everything internally and externally you are going to get it. And that is why you are getting the card of wish fulfillment. And you are also getting a card of stability in all aspects of your life. Then we have seven of sword. This is definitely running away from something. Acknowledge, aware, make yourself aware. What is it that you are running from? Your mind, body and emotions. Or somebody, or some situation, or some place. The card says that it is important to, for you to resolve the situation then and there. Rather moving away from the situation. Because you have to... If you are planning, if you are deciding to move forward, it has to be with clear mind, with light body. And it is showing that you are moving and running forward, leaving the baggage behind. And then it is the justice. It's the karma which is playing a major role. There is a karma balancing happening in third week of November. And when karma gets balanced, we get three folds what we have sown in the past. And that depends. So whatever... You are going to get it post mid-November. It is your karmic deeds fruits. In the last week, you again have Archangel Gabriel. It says, follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. Yes, you are moving towards stability. And there were multiple cards which are telling about your multiple opportunities coming. Look at this. You have eight of wands. All the situations will collect into one and move forward into one direction and that to a positive direction. You will suddenly feel, now post this karma card, you're getting eight of wands, which shows that when your karma is getting balanced, you're with eight of sword, it is a clarification that all the energies are moving forward in a positive direction. So rest assured, your karma were really good. That is why you're getting this threefold. Then you're getting temperance. 
it is a card of precaution and it says clearly that take one step at a time when you are taking action take precaution take all the information before moving forward don't move forward with assumptions or judgment for anybody for that matter for anybody not for yourself take a cautious decision take one step at a time analyze that step and then move forward and that's another major arcana card and then you have eight of wands look at this there is definitely going to be a forward movement and i can sense that in your reading dear people more than love and relationship it was your own inner self which is coming on the surface level as priority and your professional life is definitely being highlighted in the reading for sure and let me now see what divine fairy messages want to give it to you messages from divine fairy messages you have do some research it says you need more information about the situation look into the further before proceeding forward isn't it the reading amazing i was just telling you this thing that before moving forward take all the detail do your research do your homework collect all the primary information and then move forward isn't it the cards telling the same thing which i have told you <laughs> connect with nature you are rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoor be near lakes rivers seas forest plants trees flowers it is definitely going to heal your mind body and soul and you are definitely going to feel much rested and rejuvenated amazing and then you have whom do you need to forgive look at this since beginning we are talking about you to forgive move on move on I am very happy because whatever I am sensing, the next cards are even coming the same with the same meaning. I was telling you, you are running away from something. Whom you need to forgive? That's the question. Whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. I would like to read this again for you because this is something I was explaining to you in your reading because I was getting that sense. that this month energies are about internal peace and wisdom internal happiness as well and this goes very well with the message it says as you release old anger or resentment you will find that your wishes will come true so my dear friends that was your reading for the month of november i really enjoyed doing this general reading for you do let me know that how you're resonating with it i will see you next time very soon be blessed